Barbara Walters has died at the age of 93. She died peacefully at her home earlier this evening. Here's ABC's Robin Roberts with a look at her extraordinary life. She was a reporter, a trailblazer, and a star. Are you ready? We're all set? Okay, here we go. Ready? You ready? You ready? Barbara Walters, our Barbara, was effortlessly stylish, endlessly fearless, and never afraid to ask the question many wanted answered. What's up, guys? So Barbara Walters just passed away. She was 93. And a lot of people ask, well, that was just her time to go or was it her time to go? Like, they think that there's a set time for each person to die. And whenever they die, that's just God's will. But is that actually the truth? So Jesus said, you'll know the truth. The truth will make you free. And he also said, my word is truth. So if you find it in the Bible, we know that's what we can look to as truth. So what is God's will for our lives? How long does he want us to live? Is it is everybody just a predetermined age? The Bible says that it's appointed unto man once to die and then the judgment. So there is a time to die, but uh, it's not solely in God's hands. You have a big part to play. So God's, it's God's will, we find out in Genesis chapter 6, that he wants our lives to be like 120 years. That's like the span. That's the ultimate span. And it says in Psalm 91 that God satisfies us with a long life if you follow certain things. It says a lot of times in Proverbs that the fear of the Lord prolongeth days. So you can do things to add years to, you, to your life. You can also do things to shorten up your life. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death uh, in uh, Romans. So the, the consequences for sinful living can be a shortened lifespan. The Bible also says that the flesh profits nothing like overeating, indulging, those type of things. Uh, you can sin against your own body and cause uh, premature death in that way. So it's basically up to you because God gave us a free will. He says, I said before you, life and death, blessings and cursings, choose life. Like he wants you to choose life and that's in your control. So just like even you can read in, in the book of Acts where the Holy Spirit warned the disciples, don't go over here. How the Holy Spirit warned Paul, don't go to Jerusalem or different uh, places, but Paul wanted to do these things and he suffered the consequences. So it's God's will that you that we all live a long life, but it's actually in our control if we decide to follow God's principles and be led by the Holy Spirit to fulfill that 120 years, which is God's best. It's not 70 or 80. And also you have to uh, spend time in prayer, listen to the Holy Spirit, because like he did with the disciples in the book of Acts, he'll lead you away from trouble. So it's basically in your control. And if somebody dies before their time, that's not God's will. So I hope you guys found this video a little enlightening. Um, it's not just whenever somebody dies, well, that's God's will. It's actually more in your control. And his will is for you to live long. Just like God's not willing that any should perish, but also come to repentance. But do all people get saved? No, because their will is involved as well. So we'll talk to you guys next time. And then I'm the, yeah, I'm the boss and that's the way Woman, it is. shut up. <laughs> I'm just having fun. No, we don't argue. You know, we argue. We have little fusses, but whenever you can only you know that's very scary. Yes, no. <laughs> if you know your mate, you don't. You, you can tell when they get ready to argue. You can tell when they say something going to lead to argue. So I found out it's better to walk out of the room or to leave home.